Hey, Coach Elon here. Hope you're having a great day. So I'm going to start off this video by being brutally honest and saying I was a little bit apprehensive about shooting this because I know this is a really deep, important topic. Uh, but I realized like, you know, this is the sort of stuff that we need to discuss and need to talk about. Because if you can really understand these type of concepts when it comes to feeling like you're not good enough and understanding the psychology behind it and how it affects your behaviors, ultimately, if you can understand yourself better, that's gonna help you to get better results in the future. If you wanna get fitter, you wanna get stronger, you wanna tone up, you wanna drop a dress size, you wanna feel happier, you wanna feel more confident, whatever it may be. And the reason why I wanted to touch on this topic today of feeling like you're never good enough is because this is something that I dealt with in the past. And you know, there's many different reasons that it can pop up for many different people. For me, I did over a year of counseling and a lot of self-reflection and a lot of doing things I didn't want to do, like going into places in my mind that I wasn't happy to go to, but did it anyway with a counselor. And I was able to like peel back the onion and unravel all of this type of stuff. And then it made me realize, when I realized that I dealt with this, I then was able to see it in other people. And it's very, very common with, I'd say 90, 95% of people not feeling like you're good enough. The only thing is a lot of people either aren't aware of it they haven't addressed it or they just haven't got to that stage yet where they've kind of pushed it to the back of their mind and they haven't, it's maybe too painful to unravel. So it's really important to talk about feeling like you're not good enough because this is like essentially one of the main things that holds back everybody, men and women combined from getting the results that they want to get. Because, you know, if you want to improve your quality of life and you want to feel better, you want to have more energy, you want to feel more confident, you have to address these deep foundational issues. And when you do address these foundational issues, that's what's ultimately going to help you get better results in the long run. And so one of the main things when it comes to feeling like you're not good enough, it's having that negative internal dialogue. You have that voice in your, in your brain where you're constantly feeling like, oh, you know, what's the point of doing this training plan? What's the point of training today? what's the point of being good with my food because I don't feel good enough and I don't love myself. So nobody else is ever going to love me. So what's the point of even trying to make an effort with things? That's the mindset that I see a lot of my clients getting into. And that's where I was at some point a few years ago as well. But thankfully, I'm, I'm past that now. And so it's, it's a really negative kind of internal dialogue and negative mindset that you can get into. And when you're in that really negative mindset, it kind of like has a spiral effect where if you keep telling yourself that you're not good enough and you keep feeling like you're not good enough and you don't do the things that you need to do to help improve your self-esteem, it's a negative spiral that builds and builds and builds over the course of months and years and it gets to the point where it's just like too much. And so I've noticed there's a few different types of behaviors that are kind of common and these are kind of broad categories and it's on a spectrum. So I've seen with a lot of people where, you know, you'll a lot of people will overeat and then they'll feel guilty about overeating on food, whether it be carbs in the evening or whatever it may be, binging on food. And then they feel guilty about it. And then they're like, you know, it doesn't even matter. There's no point making a change in my food because I don't feel good enough anyway. I don't love myself. Nobody else is probably ever gonna love me. So what's the point of even being good at my food because I can just constantly overeat. And you know, again, it's this negative spiral. So that's one kind of category that I see very regularly happening with people. The other category is on the opposite end of the spectrum. And I'd say I fall more into this category where a lot of the time, if you feel like you're not good enough, you kind of feel resentful, you feel kind of angry. So you push all of that into training. And I'd say I was there for many years where constantly just training all the time, beating myself up in the gym. And that makes you feel good for a certain amount of time. And it kind of gives you confidence, but long term, it doesn't actually solve the issue. Then there's another category that people fall into where uh, a lot of people will be very restrictive with food for let's say three, four, five days a week. And then they might binge on a lot of food then for maybe one or two days a week. Uh, and then they'll also fall into the category of always being worried about their weight. So they'll kind of go in the cycle of being really restrictive with food and then fall back into the negative mindset and then overeat on food and then be really restrictive again. And that's where I think a lot of people uh, especially deal with like maybe <clears throat> bulimia or anorexia or different issues like that. That's kind of the category that's kind of similar to what to what they're in. It doesn't necessarily have to be bulimia <clears throat> or anorexia or anything like that, 
but even just being really restrictive, going through these phases of being really restrictive and then overeating and then constantly being worried about weight and being in this negative spiral, it's, it's really, really tough when you're in that frame of mind. So the point of today's video is that if you're feeling, if you feel like you're not good enough, there is things that you can do to get out of that mindset and to help you to, to move forward and to get out of that and to feel happier overall. And one of the, the main things that I like to use is called a cookie jar. And I learned this from a guy called David Goggins. And the cookie jar is basically, it's a, a metaphorical jar. Imagine I have a jar in here. And in this jar is all the good things that I've done in my life, all the things that I'm proud of. So on days where I'm not feeling like I'm good enough or I don't feel happy or positive, I can go into this imaginary cookie jar and I can pull out and be like, okay, you know, I set this goal for myself, whatever, in 2016, and I completed it. You know, I started in college and I finished my degree. I you know, uh, set a goal to go out for three runs last week and I did that. It could even be really small things like, you know, I set myself a goal of doing a 30 minute training session yesterday and I did that. These are all small little wins that you can constantly put into your cookie jar and the days where you're not feeling good enough or you don't feel good at all, you can revisit that and be like, hold on, I'm actually a badass. I've actually done all these things in the past and that's a really good way to kind of, um, move into a more positive mindset with things. And then the next way, the best way I think personally to move out of that kind of mindset is to work with someone objective. So with a counselor is going to be great, but other things that you can do is start to set yourself goals, have new goals like every week, every month, every quarter. So every three months and constantly have something exciting that you want to work towards. And then also having some accountability. So, you can have accountability from uh, a coach like me, you can have accountability from a friend, you can have accountability from a counselor, uh, you can have your own self accountability, It's just quite tough. It takes kind of years to get up to that stage, but it does work. Uh, but having some type of accountability from somebody else, I have worked with a lot of coaches myself in the past and I've invested a lot of money in myself in the past. And I've found that working with somebody else who's a little bit smarter than me really helps in terms of um, getting out of that negative mindset because if you can really build yourself up over time and realize that you are good enough and that you are amazing and you just need to look at <clears throat> more positive things and you need to set yourself goals and, and have those things to, to work towards, it's going to make it a lot easier to get out of that negative spiral that you may have been in for the last few weeks, few months, few years or whatever it may be. Uh, so yeah, that's just briefly touching on that topic. Uh, I suppose the main takeaway for today is to, you know, peel back the layers, you know, don't just look at everything as surface level and really have a, a deeper look at yourself and kind of what's maybe stopping you from getting to where you want to be. Uh, it could be that you're not feeling good enough. It could be so many different things, but that's just one thing that I thought was really important to talk about today. And yeah, I hope you found it helpful. If it was drop a com comment down below. Uh, if you have any questions about anything, feel free to ask and hope you enjoy the rest of your day.